What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to my latest FIFA 19 video. So this video guys is going to be on something which was in FIFA 18 for any of you guys that did play it. Um, you may remember that towards the end, can't remember the exact month that it was introduced, but EA brought in this thing called foot swap deals and foot swap items. Um, now they've brought this back at the start of FIFA 19, which is quite a good thing because it's basically the... In a sense, it's one of these things where you have to grind to get the rewards. Um, they're not like instant and it's over the period of about, probably about four weeks, I would say. Um, which is why, obviously, it's a good thing to have at the start because, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that towards the end, the game's kind of died and people don't really have like the motivation to really grind for a lot of things at that point. But at the beginning, there's a lot more hype around the game, so it's good to have something to grind to. Um, and... What what happens is you get various either like SBCs or different like objectives like daily or weekly objectives and various ways to get hold of these foot swap players which are usually players that aren't really like a high rating that you know have like no interest you other than the fact that they are to put in for a foot swap deal um, and as you can see on the SBC section here guys we've got all these various foot swap deals so. This one, you, you can see 25 days remain as well, guys. So, yeah, pretty much like just under four weeks, really, um, is when, you know, what the amount of time these are out for. Um, this one only requires one. So, obviously, like the big one, literally means it requires one foot swap player. The three, obviously, three foot swap players and so on and so on. Um, so, if you if you only got one, then you can get yourself a premium silver pack. As you go along, there's various players that are available. So we've got Adnan Yanazai, Paka Alcacer. Um, some of the rewards aren't players. They're different packs. So Prime Mix Players Pack for four. For six, you can get Premium Gold Players Pack. Eight is a Mega Pack. Ten is a Prime Gold Players Pack. Um, and it basically goes all the way up to 12. So I believe if it's like it was last year, there'll be a maximum of 12 players you can get hold of. So basically, if you manage to do all the various things over the course of these next four weeks you should get yourself 12 foot swap players and that would give you the choice you don't have to spend it on this but if you had 12 you could get yourself an 86 rated Adam Lalana, or you could get yourself an 86 rated Stefan El Sharawi um, obviously if you don't like either of those players you could decide to spend your foot swap players on something else and exchange them for a different reward um, so for example, maybe you could get a mega pack for eight and then if you had four left over You could maybe use it on the prime mix players pack. So you could just spend it on packs um, And obviously, you know, not everybody's gonna be able to get every single player Some of them are daily objectives. So for example, the first one was actually a daily objective um, Which you had to win three games on division rivals I've done that one, but I know there's a lot of people that maybe they they just might not have had access to the game on that day, in those in that twenty four hour period, they you know they might have been away on holiday or just like you know no no access to their PlayStation for that day, um, and you missed out on a player straight away, which is obviously very disappointing um, and it's annoying. But yeah, that's obviously you know EA's way of trying to get people to interact and keep playing with the game on a daily basis, um, and it just keeps people involved. So. If you do miss out on a player, then obviously you're not going to be able to go through one of these like El Sharawis or Lalanas, and then that's therefore going to mean that you want to kind of split your players, however many you do have across these various rewards. Um, the main reason kind of here for this video, guys, obviously, you know, I'll talk through all that, you know, explain the various things. We'll kind of find out more about it as we go along, the different ways that we are going to get the players. Obviously, like I said, the first one was from a daily objective, but the second player, guys, which is out for 24 hours uh, this one this you know this method of getting the player um is actually an sbc so you can see it's got 19 hours remaining in this one you get a pedro curavella from liverpool y you look at the card literally worthless it's a 66 rated um you would you, you know chance like you're not going to use it um you're certainly not going to use it in foot champs or anything like that um so th it's literally only going to have value because you want to be getting uh, him to basically exchange for a pack or one of those players at the end of the promo basically um, This particular SBC is not too difficult. It's not overly expensive You can see the squad which I've assembled for it. it you know just literally a whole non-reg gold team 
The only downside to this particular SBC is that you do need exactly gold players, so you can't get away with just throwing in a few cheap bronzes that are worth like 200 coins. Um, so that does mean that no matter who you put in, because every gold player is going to have a value of at least sort of 300 coins, you're going to be spending at least 3,300 coins on this SBC to get this player. Now, it, you know, you guys know a bit more than me, obviously, like your own kind of like your schedules, whether you're able to get hold of a lot of these players. If you're only going to be able to get hold of like one or two, maybe you probably don't think that spending 3,000 coins on a, on a certain uh, foot swap player might not be value for money um, but for me I'm going to be obviously trying to accumulate as many as possible hopefully all 12 then yeah it's, it's probably a bit more worthwhile but yeah you guys can sort of decide for that for yourselves um, you, I, it, it's not going to be too difficult to spend the 3,300 you shouldn't really be going much over um, I would say this team is probably just slightly over purely because I'm using players just from a club and I didn't want to actually buy any of these players so it's not really cost me anything it's literally just club players and I'm sure you guys can do that as well because you need 80 chemistry on this one a couple of green links in there should kind of do the trick I've got a few um, but nothing kind of major you can see there's a lot of dead links in there as well um, but yeah, the, the requirements specifically for this guys you need a minimum of two Spanish players that's pretty easy to get there's so many you know La Liga players are very very common and a lot of the players that play in the league are Spanish, um, very similar to like the Premier League. You know, pretty much most English players play in an English league. So it's the same with Spain. Um, you're only allowed a maximum of six players from the same nation, though, guys. So you can't go for just like a full BBVA team or full Spanish team, or whatever. You do need to try to mix up a little bit. And you also need a minimum of three leagues, which again, obviously, just pushes you to kind of mix up a little bit. But yeah, like I said, exactly gold, uh, minimum team chemistry of 80. Um, so the way I went about it guys, I, I basically looked at, obviously the, the first kind of start point is just to fill in your Spanish players, so the players which I had from Spain uh, and La Liga to get the green links which were in positions that were next to each other to gain the chemistry were actually the right mid, the centre mid and the centre back, so I had Alcala at centre back, uh, Mikel Marino at centre mid and also this guy Daniel Arraba, um, yeah on right mid, so and then obviously it leaves you with like a right back slot. Now initially I did actually go for a left back in there because I didn't have a right back. So I was just going to fill it in for the sake of it. I ended up changing that as I kind of got towards the end just to get the chemistry. Um, once I had this little section filled in, I then just looked at strikers from like obviously just not Spanish and not La Liga. I found these two guys in my club, Wagner Love and also Larin, who both play for Besiktas. So that's a green link there. Um, and then like goalkeeper, I, I noticed I had a few Argentinian league players that were, like from Argentina as well. So I just went through there, threw in a few players that would link together. I had a goalkeeper called Armani, a uh, centre-back called Magalan, and also this holding midfielder called Domingo. Um, again, a couple of green links. Like, most of them, there's, there's a lot of dead links off them, but it's still enough. And then I just used, obviously I was on about the left-back, who I put at right-back. I ended up throwing him actually at left-back because I realised I had two Spanish left-backs that playing La Liga. So I just thought, you know, I can just throw on a left mid, that'll work. And then in, in the end, I can literally manage to get away with just throwing a random right back in. Um, no links at all. Just being a right back was enough. It it gave one extra chemistry, got me from like 81 to 82. Didn't need it, obviously. Like, I, I was, you need a minimum of 80, but I think probably if you put somebody that was out of position, it would possibly have dropped the chemistry maybe. I, I don't know. It might not have dropped chemistry of anybody else, but yeah, it, it, it works. Um very very easy to do that is literally all you need guys I, I can't really sort of give you any specific tips of like certain players to buy in certain areas because it is another one of those SBCs that is so like it's it's a very generalized SBC it's so vague in terms of like what you need there's only like a couple of specific requirements but they're so easy to do there's not certain players that fulfill those requirements there are hundreds and hundreds around so anything is literally anything will do um we get this cool animation as well. I didn't know about that. It's a pretty nice and um, surprises a walkout. Um, 66 rated walkout. That is interesting. That's that's a nice little touch. Um, I've not actually seen anything like that yet. I think there was a player possibly. Um, actually, it might be the Lucas Mora. I've not done that player of the SBC yet. I will be doing that. But I'm just basically holding off as long as possible because I don't really want to lose the coins. Um, 
But yeah, I, I think apparently possibly with that, they walk out and they do the whole board thing when you get the player. That's pretty cool. Um, pretty nice touch from EA as well. But yeah, that that's the player, guys. Um, and hopefully, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll have a few more of those players uh, to go into these foot swap deals and yeah we'll be we'll be laughing we might get some packs i, I don't think i'm going to go for the players i'll probably go for the packs we might get some decent players in that so that, that'll be good um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys hopefully it was quite helpful if you did obviously feel free to leave a like comment that sort of stuff um and if you haven't already then you can subscribe to my channel for you know my latest fat 19 videos um which i'm going to be releasing on the regular but i hope you enjoy the rest of your day hope you enjoy the video and i will see you in the next one